guys, I'm sure you're all wondering why are we in the hangar and you will find out today. But before that, I just wanted to jump in here for a second and thank BetterHelp for being the paid partner of today's video. Thank you for making this dream possible. Stuart and I try to be very honest about the struggles we face whilst trying to navigate all the challenges that Cyber throws at us. It is not easy to tackle a project like this as a couple. Just imagine that on the same day you have an argument with your partner, you have an argument with your colleague, your flatmate, your best friend, all in a very small living space in a foreign country and trying to fix a wrecked boat. Of course, we want to show you our best version and sharing the highlights of this crazy adventure. But we've also realized that being vulnerable and showing not the so bright times can be very positive. You never know who is out there listening and might be inspired to get some help or just to talk to someone. We get comments from many of you saying that watching our show has helped you through some difficult times. It is totally okay to not be okay. So yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about BetterHelp because BetterHelp makes therapy a lot less intimidating because it's done online. You just answer a few simple questions and normally in just 48 hours you match to your own therapist based on your own needs. They have over 30,000 therapists. So if for some reason you don't get along with your therapist, you can switch free of charge as many times as you like. And you can do therapy however you want and you feel more comfortable with. Via phone or computer, via phone call, video chat or messaging. And even if you have a busy timetable, their scheduling is super flexible. So yeah, it really is the easiest way to do therapy online today. So if you would like to let BetterHelp to connect you with a therapist, someone who will support you and give you the unbiased advice that you might need, just visit betterhelp.com forward slash sailing seabird or choose sailing seabird during sign up and they will give you a special discount for your first month. Thank you guys. Let's get on with the work. This is going to be our new home for the next couple of weeks. You might have guessed it already. And yes, we're gonna be painting the boat. So nearly all the prep has been done. We just have to, today, get rid of some of the Sikoflex that is around here. Here is okay, but there are some areas where there is still some Sikoflex. So we need to get rid of that and sand this repair that we finished yesterday. We put some fairing compound, so we just need to sand it and see how good it looks. But hopefully we don't need to put any more on. And after that, hopefully today, the first coat of primer will go on. How do you feel about being in the hangar? <laughs> uh, I feel like I want to have a game of squash. <laughs> but the acoustics are pretty good. Hello! <laughs> it's, uh, in the winter this place is packed, like rammed with these Vager. Yeah, the reason we are doing this now is because the rate is half the price <laughs> and it is empty so we can come in. In the winter it's full so there's no space for that and uh, no one. No space for no one. That's it, especially, uh, yeah, you can't even breathe too close to these Vager boats. Yeah, they're like very fancy. They're under these plastic. Very fancy boats that... Well, uh, that boat there's... If you a get a of splash money. of paint on it... Ooh. <laughs> Our insurance couldn't even cover that. <laughs> Just up on this tower. Uh, it's a little bit dubious. Nope. It's not the falling, it's the landing. So yeah, just scraping these last remnants of the Sikaflex that 
holds on the rubbing stroke. Yeah, easier with two hands, so I'll get to it. No luck. We have to put a little bit more fairing compound. But not too bad, not too bad. Marina's turn to uh, have a go at removing some of the sicker flakes. It's, it's a bit of an, an annoying job, but it needs to be done. I have just sanded the second round of filler. Stewart's put the tape already. We're going to be raising the water line 50 mil, the size of the tape. And the sticker flex is all gone from the top. So all is left is clean with acetone and paint. Stu's got very good taping skills. <laughs> and we are monitoring the temperature here. We've got our thermometer that says nearly 30 degrees. This morning at 8 in the morning when I came here, it was 24 and the paint is meant to be applied between 10 and 30 degrees. So we might wait a little bit, see if it goes down a bit. What do you think? Um, about what? Ah, check out the repair. No, yeah, what do I? Let's see what he thinks about my work. Are you proud of it? What did you say? Beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, you've done really well. Yeah. Well, he's not perfect, but... Ah, uh, Marina, it ain't going to uh, make us go any faster or slower. But it won't sink, though. Yeah, well, we can always uh, fill the back up with expanding foam. <laughs> no, it's good how I did it. Uh, it was Ooh, only... Exciting. Okay, game on. Temperature is 28. I don't know if you can see that. And it's going to start to go down from now on. So, we've got light on. Still a bit of light outside. But it's pretty dark in here and we're going to go... We're going to be painting for a few hours, so it's going to get dark. The lighting may not be the best as it's getting uh, a little, well it's turning, just coming into dusk. Marina's wiping down the boat with the acetone and that's about it. Marina's on the painting, I'm on the mixing and the pushing, the little chariot. And Marina doesn't really like height so it's going to be... Earthquake! A bit of a challenge for me. Yeah. Go! Stop! The wheel's okay? Oh uh, yeah, more or less. Just don't put all your weight on one wheel.
We've had a shower just before this, and I'm already sweating. This is it, painting by Braille. Hey, Marina. Yeah. You missed a bit. So, it's probably not giving you the best light, but uh, the boat is grey. So that's good. Marina's on uh, the painting, smashing it out. I'm keeping her topped up. There's one for you, Greg. I was telling the steward that this reminds me of when we had our previous boat and we painted the anti-fouling in a night because it was the cheapest rate, just being on the slings for one night and we put anti-fouling everywhere but on the strap, strap lines. <laughs> oh, looks good. It's the first layer so you can see behind and you can see my strokes is that how you say it? strokes but the second one is gonna be better what is the time to it uh, it's probably about one one in the morning we started at nine four hours not bad uh pretty hard work i'm a bit exhausted and covered in paint at some point paint went into my eye so Stuart to took over for like five minutes whilst I rinsed it and see after that I had to paint with sunglasses on <laughs> because it was the only thing we had in hand at hand and it's been even more challenging with the amount of light we have but I think I've done a pretty good job for yeah oof that's my bit Stuart what <laughs> he's full of drops <laughs> <laughs> the bit that Stuart oh, did okay. when I got blinded by the pain. Oh, There's only one, two, couple of jobs. Mm. I hadn't had any practice yet. <laughs> you ruined my work. Uh, yeah, look at your areas. <laughs> right. uh, you can see more, even more, look, short strokes instead of all the way up. Uh, practice makes perfect. <laughs> yeah, you had a, you had a fair run. <laughs> I was no. caught unawares. <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's the first. It's the first one. But yeah, I do think we should put thinners in the next one. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Pretty close, mate. Very romantic. Candlelight, music on. It's been like a like a date. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh well, kind of bed. Yeah, let's go. Bedtime. Let's have a look and see on the daylight how it looks. Are you nervous? Oh uh, yeah, well, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. <laughs> Cover it with more paint. Yeah, well, the next coat is coming in the next few hours. Yeah, we'll see.
Honey, do you like the first coat on it? I think it's pretty acceptable. Yeah, it's just got some little bits that I'm about to sand off. Yeah, a couple of tiny bits of... Just flat yeah. from the roller. Oh, and at least the whole number, the whole identification number came out good. I'm not going to show you people, you stalk me. <laughs> okay. How's that, Marina? Yeah, it's good. The rug doesn't get caught. Whenever there's something like flat, hard flat bits, the rug will. But now it's good. Ready for the next layer. We're going to try and do the second coat of primer first thing tomorrow morning to avoid the heat and hopefully have slightly better lighting conditions because we struggled a little bit. <laughs> Went on the advice of a few people. Yeah, you want to paint as late as possible. Uh, yeah, that's pretty late and pretty annoying. So we're going to give it a go at about five, six o'clock. Yeah, five to six. And it's probably the second coat should only take maybe two and a half, three hours. I say three and a half. Okay, so there the book set. I reckon two and a half to three. Marina's like three and a half. So let's see how this pans out. It's seven in the morning and we've been here since five thirty, six, just prepping the boat. And Stuart is already painting. Today is my turn to mix and the Stuart's turn to paint. The only reason we did a first coat of primer grey is because we had it already. So we thought we'll use it because it was old. So we're going to do two more coats with white primer and then we'll put the finish coat which we'll do two coats of and can you guess which color we're going for? You're going to have to wait and see. You're doing good Stu. Uh, he says he's a professional painter. I must say, um, <laughs> this is nicer than in the conditions I worked the other night. It's fresh, like it's cooler, it's light, we're more rested. What's the temperature right now? Twenty three degrees. That's perfect. It's looking good. You're doing really good, darling. Yeah, so this isn't even white, this is off-white. This is off-white? Yeah. Okay. We had to stop the music for copyright. <laughs> but we are working with music on So I'm gonna stop and press play again. See you later. Still looking a bit stripy, probably because it's white on top of grey. We'll see. We'll see how it looks at the end, but you might have to stay tuned until next week so we can show you how it looks and if we can go and get rid of those lines. This week has been really, really exciting for us. 
seeing the change is pretty cool. And here in the hangar is Seabird is all alone, so you can see the lines better, and with the paint, of course, even more. So it's yeah, really pretty. She's got a pretty face. Thank you all for your support because if we are here, it's because of you guys that are there every week. Thank you to everyone who is supporting this project with donations through PayPal and coffee. Super thanks. Every little goes a long way. And of I course. Really to pay. What? We reached the 40,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. We reached the 40,000 subs. So thank you so much. And of course, to our patrons. We are keeping our patrons updated. So we're doing like a daily update on the painting work so they can see the change. So if you want to join our Patreon family, this might be the time to do it. And I think, I don't forget, ah yeah, I would like to just send a big, big thank you to Thomas, you know why. And yeah, you want to say goodbye? Yeah, uh, good week, I'll see you next week. Goodbye. See you next week, stay tuned if you want to see how it's going to look and which color we're going for. Bye-bye.